Hello, hello, hey, hello, 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 and welcome to Quarter Life Crisis. That's cries in and sis as in hey sis. And I am your host, I'm a day. Hi, how are you man doing today? For real? Bro, that's crazy still. Nah, 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 nah. <gasps> Damn. Okay, well, <laughs> hope you saw that out, innit? <laughs> and if any of my reactions did not go with what you told me when I said, how are you doing today? Just imagine they did, or like, imagine I said, oh yeah, it's really good, I'm glad, or like, oh. Sorry about that, babes. Okay, let's begin, as always, with a deep breath. In and out. <sighs> Yummy. Welcome. So today, I want to talk about failure versus success, or failure slash success. The fear of failure slash the fear of success. <laughs> So if you listen to last week's episode, I talked about life being a game. I talked about a video, watching a video by a YouTuber called Mark Manson and how he said that the point of life was to fail and to keep failing and to fail, to fail in as many useful ways as possible to help you get ahead in life. And so this episode, I think I wanted to go a little bit more in depth into failure, why we're scared of it. And also like, even I was thinking about, okay, failure and obviously the opposite of failure is success, but there's also a fear of success that exists. And what's the difference, right? So let's go into it. I'm going to start off first of all with the definition of the fear of success. So I Googled this, this is according to Google, Google AI to be specific. And I think this definition was used pulling articles from like very well health wiki and better up. Anyway, so fear of success, also known as the Jonah complex is a phobia that involves fearing the potential consequences of achievement. It's often a fear of how others and oneself will react to success rather than the achievement itself. Fear of success can impact work, school and lifestyle, causing anxiety and distress. <sighs> yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> um, and I thought it was interesting that the fear of success has a name, the Jonah complex and for those of you who don't know the bible Jonah is like this guy in the bible who got eaten up by a whale (laughs) and it's because he was running away from his destiny in it he was meant to be a prophet and he was going to prophesy the destruction of Nineveh and he was like I don't want to do that I'm not trying to be the bearer of bad news God you got to find somebody else to do that shit (laughs) and so he ran away and he got swallowed up by a whale and he had to chill in there until he was like basically ready to accept his destiny and go do the thing. <laughs> so I guess that's why it's called the Jonah Complex because fear of success, I guess, is like you fear that if you do do well, if you do do the thing that you love and it goes well and you succeed, shit is going to hit the fan. Change is going to happen. You're not ready for that. You don't know how people are going to react. Like, because for example, it could mean you go from one wealth bracket to the next and the people who were your friends in your ex wealth bracket they may react to your new wealth bracket differently they may think that you know they may now start relying on you more they may no longer see you as a friend and start seeing you as their like money pig is that the right word money cash cow (laughs) (laughs) or like what's another thing that can happen when you when you get successful i guess like for some people success comes with fame so for example like i guess like famous actors and singers and stuff like that and they may fear literally that loss of privacy i know that that shit scares me you know like (laughs) yeah they may fear that loss of privacy and people thinking that they have the right to a certain level of access to you so fear of success is a very real thing and it's so interesting because i think when i when i first heard it years ago i was like oh, who would be scared of being successful then i realized it's not the success itself that's scary it's the aftermath it's the consequences of the success and what that can do is keep us stagnant and leave us anxious ridden and it's so funny because it's just like we come up with so many excuses you know not to be our best self and we self-sabotage and and because we're like okay but if i do succeed <laughs> what's gonna happen and i think sometimes like if we do succeed at that thing we're like shit 
and I gotta keep going because I know that I can do this so I gotta keep doing it like I can't just like fall off you can take a break I don't know but yeah fear of success the journal complex very real makes sense it's a thing yeah so what is the fear of failure again from google ai atishophobia is an intense fear of failure it may cause you to put off or avoid any activity or scenario that has the potential for an unsuccessful outcome i think people are probably more familiar with the fear of failure i think it pervades um, maybe not more but it's probably spoken about more because people are like of course you'd be scared of failing you know no one thinks that much that people would be scared of success even though again like i said a very real thing and this episode is mostly about you know the failure part rather than the fear of success and yeah i mean (laughs) no one wants bad things to happen no one wants an unsuccessful or like unwanted outcome of something so of course people are scared it's something that happens but i guess like when it becomes a tetrophobia is when it's intense like you really don't want to fail and obviously become paralyzing and my thing also is like what if you have both (laughs) what if you have a fear of failing what if you have a fear of success what if you have both then what are you just like worldly fucked because i think i might have both if i'm being very fucking honest yeah 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 but anyway like i said we want to get more into like the fear of failure right so Mark Manson, in this video that I mentioned in the previous episode, I was like, you know, failure apparently is the point of life and like to advance, to be able to do more, to be able to like succeed faster, you gotta fail as early and as often as you can, right? So that you can come back better. But failing is scary. Why? Because it's embarrassing. Because it hurts. Because some of us are perfectionists. (laughs) Like, why is it scary? Because I'm thinking, like, if you failed, but no one was there to see your failure, would you do it? Like, if you knew that every time you fail, no one's going to know, no one's going to see it, would you still be scared of failing? So is it like a people watching or people knowing thing? Would you still be scared if you were the only one there to see your failure? Probably, I guess. <laughs> um, and, like, you know, being a perfectionist, we, like if you are a perfectionist, you don't want to make or do anything that's less than perfect, but being a perfectionist who's like i don't know starting something new or or going into something new or experiencing change like you're not gonna be perfect from the start and if you are oh sorry final boss wow 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 you're different <laughs> but you know it's unlikely that it's going to be perfect but like if you are so caught up in that perfectionism of everything like then you're not gonna try and you're not gonna like put out anything you're gonna be like frozen and you're gonna be stuck in action and so like if you don't put out anything how can it ever reach that level of perfectionism that you're hoping for you know you have to put it into practice and you have to do the thing practice makes perfect although that isn't true it doesn't nothing is perfect and that's like i guess the double-edged sword of being a perfectionist (laughs) if you're a perfectionist who's too scared to try because it's not going to be perfect you never end up getting to i guess that good enough or perfection that you want but even if you do continue trying your perfectionist it doesn't matter because nothing is perfect it will never be perfect at least and like maybe like to your standards and i think sometimes things just have to be good enough perfect also is i guess it is relative right but yeah practice makes perfect yeah is the saying but it doesn't practice makes better and i i asked earlier like why is failure scary and maybe again it's because of the education system (laughs) Because I think up to a certain point in our lives, in school, we're told that failing is bad, right? We're not supposed to fail. We're supposed to have the right answer. We're supposed to have good grades. When we are failing in school, we have people around us, whether it's our teachers, our parents, other adults, telling us that like, bro, if you're failing, you're not going to do well. You're not going to get anywhere. Failure is bad. You don't want that. And so we have that drilled into us for years, decades even. So of course, we're scared of failing. And if you are someone who was an overachiever, someone who (laughs) did well or excelled excelled academically, and so you knew that like, if I do this, I'm going to do well, I'm not going to fail. And then you go into adulthood and you want to try something new, you want to go into something new, but you're like, I might not do good, I might not do well at that. You're just kind of like, you know, (laughs) you're like, no, you need to get it right the first time or not at all why would you try something that you know the first couple of times that you do it you're not going to be good at it no that's scary (laughs) you're not trying to do that if you know back in school 
you were doing well, you were praised, and da da da, you know what I mean? So, failure and the idea of doing it and failing can be scary, it is scary. But ultimately, bro, it's the point. <laughs> like, there is so much we learn from when we make mistakes and when we do things badly or wrong. We don't really learn anything if we do things right all the time, right? And I guess with this episode, I'm not necessarily trying to make you unscared of failure, maybe less scared. But to be honest, like, bro, just do it scared. (laughs) Fail, fail, fail and fail again. You are growing your character. Like, your avatar is advancing and levelling up every single time you fail. And, like, it can be fun when you're trying new things. Or even if you're doing something you've done before, but it's, like, a bigger challenge or whatever. Just be a child again. It's okay. Make the mistake. Fall over. Scrape your knee. Bust your lip. It's fine. I promise it will not be the end of the world. And, like, the sooner you fail, the sooner you'll succeed. Okay. That's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope it inspired you to fail some more. You know, release the cringe. Release the embarrassment. Don't let it stop you from doing what you need to do. Or what you want to do. (laughs) So, thank you for listening to Water Life Crisis. I hope you stay a while and lend me your ears again next week.